Hello and welcome to part 5 of my Win UAE guide. So as promised I said that we were going to do some tidying up of our installation organizing our WHT load games. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, is from where we left off um, open up HDF and then at the moment we've got our uh, better workbench uh, system drive there and we've actually just got a PC folder here. I want to create a new folder and I'm just going to call that games and then can close that down and back in WinUAE uh, we need to open up our configuration if we haven't done so already so mine was A1200 hard drive click load and then we need to go to the CD and hard drives and we want to add a directory so this time uh, the directory that we got is HD1 uh, the reason being that our first drive the better workbench was HD0 so H so DH1 sorry DH1 is our next drive so the volume name on that we're just going to call it games nice and simple um, I don't want it to be bootable so I untick that that just lowers the boot priority and then uh, we then need to give it a path so we go to select directory and then we just need to make sure that we're in the HDF folder and then just double click on games and then select folder there we go and then we click OK so uh, let's boot up our Amiga okay and as you can see we've got another drive so that was pretty easy and you can keep on adding more and more drives so if for example you want a drive for your work uh, you can just do this exact same process just increase the number to DH2, 3, 4 however many drives you want I'm sure there is a limit out there and it's most probably a limit uh, of workbench but um, I know that you can add quite a few hard drives to this system try and keep it to a minimum but uh, for, for this example we're just going to have one more drive called games now if I open it up uh, you'll see that uh, we've got tons and tons of space here so this is kind of taking up uh, showing the space uh, that's kind of available to the machine uh, but there's there's no folders in here what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a, a load of folders A, B, C, D etc now we could do this by going to um, going to uh, window and then new drawer and doing that 26 times but that is going to be a bit boring um, I'm quickly going to show you a cool little way in the Amiga on making loads and loads of folders so what we're going to do is we're going to go to system and then we'll go to uh, system again and then what I want to do is I want to open up a new shell okay uh, let's go CD and do DH1 that's our new driver remember and it's come up with games excellent we're in the right directory and then what I'm going to do is ED for editor and I'm going to call this uh, script dot uh, R E X X. So uh, there's a scripting language called AREX on the Amiga. Uh, you may have used it in the past. If you haven't, then uh, follow this along. Hopefully, you'll be able to uh, understand what I'm doing here. Um, I will try and explain it. So, first off, uh, I'm just doing a header. Each script has to have some kind of um, forward slash and then uh, asterisk uh, just to denote that this is a script so that's the first line then what we're going to do is we're going to run a, like, a, a little loop so we've got do i so that's our variable 65 to 90 by 1 okay 
Now, what does this mean? Well, uh, characters are denoted by uh, ASCII code and A is 65 and Z is 90. So as you can guess in this loop, we're going to be looping from 65 to 90 in steps of one. So we're going basically through the alphabet. So the next line um, is address, command. So basically, I want to run the command, and my command is make dir, and then I want the drive, uh, uh, the folder name to be uh, our A, B, C. But at the moment, we're in numbers at the moment. We've only got 65 to 90. It doesn't understand that I want A to Z. So there's a little uh, command called D to C, which I'm presuming means decimal to uh, character. And that command I want to use and pass I. So my variable I is going to be passed through this command that will convert it from a decimal number to a character. And then last but not least, I want to end the loop. So let's save this, save the file, excellent. And then in order to run it, we're going to do RX and then the name of the script. And then hopefully it will work. There we go. And then in order to find out if it's worked, if I type in DIR, press enter, look at that, loads of folders. There we go. This might have taken about the same time as going to a uh, new folder, typing in a number, then new folder again, typing in a number. But hopefully some of you will admit that, yeah, this was pretty cool. And it's, it's just a cool, neat little way of using scripting. And I love that I'm using the Amiga for this rather than using some batch file in Windows. So uh, there we go. So we've got all our folders. So uh, the next thing I want to do is, uh, obviously, I want to download some games. Now, it doesn't create uh, all the icon files. So you do have to go to uh, Window, Show, Show All Folders. And there's all of our folders that we've got there. So now is the time to download some games. So I'm just going to pick a few games at random. So maybe, for example, The Adams Family. We'll download that one. Uh, let's choose another one from the A's, actually. Let's go for Alien, Alien Breed. Uh, let's see if I can get the special edition. Uh, special edition, there it is. And then uh, let's pick another letter. Let's choose one from B, BC Kid. That's a good one. Um, Benny Factor is also a game that I quite like. There we go. And we've got a few downloaded. So they will appear in our downloads folder. And here we go. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select the two games uh, that we got for uh, letter A and then I'm going to copy go to Amiga hard drive games go into my A folder paste them into there but then what I'm going to do is right click on them go to 7-zip and then I'm just going to say extract here and as you can see it makes the folder and the info file for us and then I can safely delete the zip file and there we go we've got two games added and then it's a case of just going back uh, through to our downloads again uh, choosing uh, the B's copying then uh, going forward to uh, the letter B pasting that in 7-zip extract here there we go and then delete the zip files and then it's basically a case of repeating that until you've got all the games that you want um, in your folders so then back on the Amiga if we go into games go into A there we go we've got our two folders uh, go into Alien Breed 
double click on that just make sure it works and then that's all of our games um, organized A to Z so that's the end of this video so there wasn't much um, basically on the win UAs E side of things it was more of an organization and tidy up this video basically um, what we'll do is we'll go more into depth of, of uh, win UAE in the next video um, and uh, looking at more of the settings and, and what things we can change within it and customize our Amiga a little bit more but thank you for watching hope this video was helpful and uh, if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up um, and if you want to watch any more, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.